Hey Sunny. Hi Tadio. Hello Logan. Hi again. Do you remember me? Yes, from, from the uh, yes from the first challenge. Hi again. Hey. Do you remember me? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we did the first challenge together, yeah. right? I have another challenge for you, which is the IELTS challenge. Yeah. Okay? okay. So you ready for the first one? Let's talk about study. So what's your major? I major in business administration. Okay, so what is your major? Uh, as I have introduced myself, I came. I'm um, from the international law department at Hong Mang International University, and uh, because I come from a family with a committed uh, history with uh, the law department, so it's only come natural for me to follow my the footsteps of my previous generations. What is your major? Um, so I was actually a sophomore in graphic design, but I knew in heart that it wasn't the major for me. So now I'm starting all over again with business management. What do you like about your studies? Uh, I like study this subject because I have a knowledge of entrepreneur and how to make my own business. And also, I really passionate about it and. I really love to study here. What do you like about your studies? Well, uh, one of the top, uh, what top three reasons my, my parents agree with me is that the law department uh, itself is one of the most prestigious uh, career one uh, one could pick uh, for one's life to uh, progress and to develop and have something to have a legacy to live on. What do you like about your studies? Well, I think that it really helps me to boost my people skill because I really love to mingle, I really love to interact with different kinds of people and uh, it helps me to get to know them. Mm, very nice. Now, let's talk about traveling, all right? Why do people often take photos when they travel? I don't know about a other people but personally I think uh, people want to take a lot of pictures because they want to make a good memory when they uh, have the adventure something like uh, they go with friends or family. Why do people often take photos when they travel? Well, uh, it's quite obvious because uh, as uh, technology advances and progress a lot, uh, have come so far today, mm -hmm. uh, it allows us to take advantage of uh, those technology to capture the moments, as it is one of the, I see as a key factor of people uh, consider when they're traveling. Why do people often take photos when they travel? Well, no doubt, people take photos when they travel to capture the moment. Just like at Shirin uh, Song, uh, we keep this love and memories in a photograph. Very nice. All right, now let's move on to talk about lending. Okay, so why do you think some people not want to lend their money to others? People don't want to lend their money to another because they don't want to uh, lose their faith with uh, their friends or their any relationship. And also the money that they lend. Why do some people not want to lend money to others? Psychological speaking is a matter of trust issue. But uh, for me it's because uh, they have to be cautious nowadays because there are a lot of scammers and a lot of uh, fraud and uh, they could you could lose money for nothing so uh, these people are just be, uh, become more and more careful and cautious about their own uh, monetary possession why do some people not want to lend money to others it can be sensitive when it comes to money a small amount no problem but when it comes to a big amount um, there might be a high risk of people not returning it to you. All right, now let's talk about planning, okay? Is it important to have a daily plan, in your opinion? In my opinion, uh, the daily plan is very important because when we have the daily plan, uh, we can know what we're gonna do today and what the, um, the purpose that we want to fo follow it. Mm. and we have the patient. Is it important to have a daily plan? Well, there's uh, basically the two schools of thoughts. 
but uh, I think it is necessary to have a daily plan because this allows us to uh, progress without hesitation. You can go through a day without uh, having to decide a little things, yeah. and you uh, you can just stick it to, uh, stick to one plan, and you can just uh, focus on your uh, focus on your doing instead of uh, thinking and uh, uh, procrastinating. Is it important to have a daily plan? Oh yes, definitely. Because having a daily plan meaning that you can schedule your whole day. Um, well, it it helps you to focus more, and also it helps you uh, to have a routine, uh, which is um, very good for you in general. <laughs> That's amazing. You did really, really well. I'm very impressed. So, as a token of appreciation, I have another bottle for you. So now you have two bottles. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll hope to see you again. All right, I have a little present for you again. It's the same thing from last time. So now you have two bottles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you did pretty well. So uh, as a token of appreciation, I have a little present for you. It's the same as the last time, though. Uh, so thank you for your participation. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. And can you help me? Okay. Sure. See you. Yeah, Bye. See you.